Hello everyone, my last video was my most advanced tutorial yet, and I hope a lot of you got to see it, and a lot of you subscribed, my channel just turned two, so kind of big stuff there. This is going to be my most frivolous tutorial yet, in a sense. So today I'm going to be bringing to you a three sensor line follower, and I know what you're thinking. That seems kind of pointless, two sensors can do the job just as well, and a lot of the time just one sensor does it well by itself. You're mostly right, but not entirely. There are some cases where line following with three sensors actually works better. You have a three sensor array, two sensors in the back, set wide apart, ideally over the white lines, and then one sensor in the front, a bit off sent from the sensor so that it's between the white and the black lines. Now this sensor in the front is going to be running a standard or proportional line follower, so that's that job. These two sensors in the back are going to be kind of on standby until you come to a T-shaped intersection, at which point the sensor will cause the robot to turn until the middle sensor is back on a black line, and then it can continue line following normally again. Now here's how to program it. So to start this program, we're going to make a very basic proportional line follower because that's kind of the core of this. And then we're going to, after that, we are going to add the code that makes it detect if it's at an intersection. So we're going to go to movement and grab a set movement motors. In my case, the movement motors for my robot are C and E. And then um, grab a set movement speed. And what's nice about this is it can actually go pretty fast um, because if it goes off course, it can actually correct itself even if it's completely off the line. So we're going to make it go to 45%. Of course, on your robot, it could be different. So now we're going to need to go to variables, make a variable, and we're going to call it target value. And if you've watched any of my previous videos um, about proportional line followers, you're kind of kind of you're kind of going to know how this works. If this is your first one, well, number one, I suggest you watch my other tutorials first because this one won't really make sense otherwise. Um, and if you're if this is your first one, I'm just going to explain what target value is quick. Target value is the part of the line you want your robot to be seeing. So, what you want to do is take your robot and put it right over like put the sensor you want to be detecting the line right between the white and black lines on the field. And my sensor is getting a reading of around 40%, so that's what I'm going to put there. Now we're gonna, gonna wanna grab a loop block and we're gonna want a forever loop. And in this forever loop, we're just gonna wanna put a movement block of start moving this right 31. And we are going to want to put this in here and we're going to want to put the sensors whatever sensor is the like one doing all the proportional work the one at the front and center of your array in my case that's sensor d and we're going to subtract that from target value so this is our like this is literally the entire code for your proportional line follower you could just end the video here if, if that's all you want, but you're here for three sensors. So let's add that now. We're gonna to wanna to go to control and grab an if then else loop. And in the second slot of the if then else loop, we're gonna to wanna to put an if then loop. And inside each one of these, we're gonna put a repeat until loop. In the first Boolean bubble here, we're going to want to go to sensors and grab a reflection less than 50%. And you're going to want to make this, this one specifically, the left sensor in your sensor array. So the one that's going to be detecting if there's a black intersection and you need to turn left to get back onto the line. And here in this slot right here, you're going to want to put the corresponding left sensor right on the black line and then add a tolerance around 5%. So if it's saying 15% is black, make it around 20%. So in my case, I'm going to do just that. And in the repeat until loop, you're going to want to put another one of these, but this time set it to the middle sensor of your array. And you're going to want to make this one here what the middle sensor of your array sees on black. So in that case, minus 20% again. So why we need to have the middle sensor of the array be, or of the array be looking for the black line instead of just the target value is because if it overcorrects and lands on the black line, that's fine. 
And because we have a roughly 5% tolerance, it's going to stop a bit before it sees the black line. So this is the best way to make sure we don't turn too far. And we could just make it turn 90 degrees, but not all intersections or places where it goes off are necessarily 90 degrees. So that's why we have that. And in the more movement section right here, there's a really nice block that lets you start moving at 50% and 50% speed. And this, this lets you control each motor individually. And in here, this section, you're going to have to start doing a bit of trial and error to see what turn makes your robot work the best for getting back on the line. In my case, it's a 10 and negative 15% turn. So you may have to do a bit of testing with your robot just to see what works the best. But in my case, 10 and negative 15% works. So then we're going to do the exact same thing down here, only in this case, it's with the other set sensor and our array. And we're going to want to be turning the opposite direction. So we're going to want to go negative 15 in my case, and then 10 in the second slot. And this is actually the entire code. So I'm going to show you just once again how it works. Hopefully it works for you.